Hello and welcome back to Rebecca's Marble Ones. I'm Jeremiah and we are here at day six of the Country Balls World Tournament. And today we have bowling. As you can see the track before us, we have quite a few funnels this time. And at the end of the course, we have the bowling lane. And however many pins you knock down will be the points that are awarded to your country. Here is the full results. Uh, in the last video, we did have an error in the calculations of these points, so they do seem a little bit different than in the end of last video because we corrected some of those errors. Sorry for the inconvenience there. Be sure to uh, subscribe so you see the community posts if there happens to ever be any more errors. Now let's, let's get on with the races. If we have all the groups here, India versus Senegal will be our first match. And they are off. It's Senegal in the lead. Here comes India, though, both in the bottom funnel section. Both trying to get out of this first funnel. Who can do it first? It looks like it's going to be India. Into funnel number two. Here comes Senegal into funnel number two as well. And they're drafting India, and they're able to pass into funnel number three. Can India come back and pass into the third funnel? They're very close as we go into this green labyrinth, a very large one at that. And Senegal barely able to hold the lead. They're neck and neck here. And we do have some scores. And we'll have to check the replay to see which marbles got which pins. So India completely missed. So all the pins that were knocked over were by Senegal, which means they get six points for six pins that are knocked over. This will be a higher scoring round than in any of the previous events in this tournament. Because the highest possible you could score in the previous rounds was four, but now it's all the way up to ten points. So really need to focus on your accuracy in this event because you can really catch some points here. Next up we have Korea versus England. And Korea having a hard time getting pushed kind of back up uh, backwards up the track. But now they're neck and neck again with England. England in the bottom funnel section, Korea in the top, Korea a little bit ahead, but here comes England and they pass into funnel number three, and then finally here comes Korea. And there goes Korea and England now into the green labyrinth, who can come out first? They're pretty neck and neck at this point. And they're neck and neck yet still, there goes England, I think three points for England, and looks like three or four, possibly even five points for Korea. There's three points for England and Korea coming out, out on the side. They knocked over, it looks like five. So that'll be a five to three match. Korea will win this match and get five points to their overall total. Will we see a one country strike in this event? But we still have eight more matches to go, so this definitely is possible. Next up, we have Pakistan versus Spain. And we are off. Who comes out first this time? It's Spain. And Pakistan now in the lead in funnel number one. But Spain comes up there. A quick pass by them. And here comes Pakistan doing the same thing right back very aggressive competitors back and forth for the lead through those funnels. Now let's see what happens in the uh, uh, labyrinth section. Pakistan takes the lead now. Spain in the lead down the lane and there they go. Seven points for Spain and a miss by Pakistan. Let's take a look at the replay here. See where Spain hit right down the middle. Three pins left, so seven pins knocked down for Spain. And Pakistan could have gotten max three. They missed by a millimeter on that uh, furthermost right pin. They could have at least gotten one point. But unfortunately, they did not. So Spain will be the winner of this match. Seven points to their name. And that's the highest we've seen, beating Senegal by one point. Let's see if the USA or Indonesia can top that.
and they are off. Indonesia comes out first into the right or the top funnel, which would be the left side for the from the marbles view. Indonesia already into funnel number three, and now entering the green labyrinth already. The USA is falling down behind. And you would think, well, this isn't really a race because he's not really a winner, but technically it still is a race because whoever gets down first has the most pins to knock over. And Indonesia completely misses a gutter ball by them. And now the USA has plenty of time to come and possibly even get a strike if they go straight down the middle. Preferably one side to the other, just like that. And seven points for the USA. Just a little bit further to the center of those pins. And the USA would have gotten a strike. It would also be easier if these marbles were a little bit bigger compared to the pins. But that just makes it more challenging for this event. Next up, we have Portugal versus Germany. And they are off. Who will come out first? Looks like Germany. Here comes Portugal as well. Neck and neck in the first funnel. And Portugal is able to overtake through the first funnel. And here comes Germany right back, pushing Portugal. Portugal's able to do a sly move there and goes into third, or the third funnel. Here comes Germany, though, trying once again to take the lead, and they're able to get into the green labyrinth first. Where will Portugal come back from behind? Can they retake the lead? They're having a hard time doing so. Germany about to make their shot, and one pin all the way to the left side. Unfortunate performance by Germany, and not much better by Portugal. 1-1. Terrible performances by Germany and Portugal. And they, neither of these teams are getting very many points to their overall totals in this event. That will help. That will definitely not help their overall points for this tournament. So 1-1, one, one, tied game. Now it's time for round number six, Belgium versus Russia. And they are off neck and neck trying to get out of this section and it is neck and neck into the first funnel. Who will come out of the first funnel first? It looks like it might be Russia. Yes, it is. Belgium falling a little bit behind. Let's see if they can catch up before Russia exits the second funnel. Barely, but Russia is able to get out of the way quick. Here comes Belgium once again circling and they're just not able to catch up to Russia who's already almost halfway through the Green Labyrinth section. And here comes Belgium trying to catch back up still. Russia trying to make a shot before Belgium can do anything about it. And let's see what they do. Straight down the middle and a 7 for Russia and 1 for Belgium. Let's take a look at the replay here. Russia going a little bit too far to the right. Actually, it looks like they didn't even knock down that pin all the way in the back. So that only give them a six. The pin did move quite a bit. But it didn't actually knock over. And Belgium getting one point there in the very front of the row. So six for Russia and one for Belgium. Argentina and the Philippines will battle next. And they are off. Argentina quick through that first section into the funnel number one on the top side. The Philippines has caught back up. We go into funnel number two. Can Argentina retake here? There goes the Philippines into funnel number three, trying to take the lead and hold it. And they're doing a good job at it at this point. Here comes Argentina, and they take the lead right back through that uh, green labyrinth section. And here comes the Philippines as well. They're neck and neck. Philippines, complete miss. And there's a score by Argentina. The board says six. Let's check the replay just to make sure that is correct. Here comes Argentina. See the Philippines there spinning on the side. And we have four pins left. So six pins were knocked over. Argentina with a six. 
the Philippines with zero. So that brings us to two sevens and three sixes. Let's see if we can have any uh, team that can come up to an eight or nine, possibly even a 10, but we're running out of rounds. And right now we're on Canada and Cameroon. They're neck and neck in funnel number two. Let's see who can come out on top. And Canada exits first. Cameroon close to that hole as well. And there goes Cameroon through that third funnel into the green labyrinth for them. Now Canada has some catching up to do. Cameroon about to make their shot and they get an eight points. And that's a new record in this event. And there's one point for Canada. But Cameroon, a new record holder, eight points. We don't have very many rounds left. And the stakes just got higher to get a nine or a 10. It's very difficult with the size of marbles that we have to score a nine or a 10 with these size pins. So Cameroon, congratulations to them, eight points. And that'll definitely help them on the overall leaderboard. Two rounds left to go. Will we get a strike? We're about to find out. Japan versus Vietnam are up next. And they are off. Who comes out first? It's Japan into funnel number one and Vietnam into funnel number one as well. Japan up on the top, Vietnam on the bottom. And Japan slightly ahead of Vietnam into funnel number two. But they have a more elongated spiral in that funnel. So that allowed them to exit quicker than Vietnam did. But there goes Vietnam, a quick exit through funnel number three. Wasn't expecting that. And now they're in lead in the green labyrinth. And it looks like they're gonna be able to make the first shot. And here's our chance to see a strike, but no, only three goal, uh, three pins for them. Japan could have seven, but they go all the way to the wrong side and miss completely. So that'll be a win for Vietnam, three points. There's the three points for Vietnam. Japan just completely missing. They don't even get a replay. Now for the final match, Mexico versus Brazil. Will we see a strike in this final match? We are about to find out. And they're off Mexico in lead on that first little section, but Brazil quickly overtakes as we go into the first funnel. Mexico up there on the left and Brazil on the right. Brazil is able to exit that funnel first into funnel number two. Can Mexico do anything in response? Yes, they have a pretty elongated spiral there. That allows them to get to funnel number three quicker, but the same thing for Brazil now, and they exit funnel number three into the green labyrinth for Brazil. Here comes Mexico right behind. Can they catch up? It may be possible if Brazil takes too long, but they're already to the final lane, and will they get a score? No, completely on the left side. Gutter ball, and one score by Mexico. A very underperforming round. The pressure was so high to get a strike. Neither team performed well, and we only had one pin knocked over by Mexico. And Brazil, our overall points leader, getting zero points. I have a feeling they're not gonna be in the lead after this event. So those are your results for all 10 rounds of the bowling event here at the Country Balls Tournament. Now let's see the overall standings. And we have Russia in the lead, tied with Vietnam with 13 points. Argentina, Brazil, and Korea tied for third place with 12. And then Belgium in sixth place with 11 points and a large tie for seventh with 10 points. USA, Cameroon, Germany, and Mexico. Brazil falling down all the way to fourth place. After being in the lead for multiple events, that is unfortunate for them. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Country Balls World Tournaments here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, signing off.